For decades, Pluto was a mere speck in our night sky, a distant, icy enigma. Discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh, it was the long-sought Planet X, but its true nature remained hidden. Our telescopes could barely resolve it, all we knew was that it was small, far, and cold. Pluto became a blank canvas for speculation, a frozen inert world at the edge of the solar system. Yet, science thrives on curiosity. Pluto's mystery only deepened our desire to know more. The Hubble Space Telescope offered our first blurry hints of surface features and revealed Pluto's family of moons. Each discovery, patches of light and dark chaotic orbits hinted at complexity. Pluto was no longer just a dot, it was a destination. To truly understand it, we had to go there. The challenge sent a spacecraft across billions of kilometers, armed with instruments to peel back Pluto's secrets. This mission would be a leap into the unknown, a test of human ingenuity. The stage was set for a new era of exploration. Pluto, the king of the Kuiper Belt, was about to become more than a mystery. It was about to become a world. Our journey to Pluto would redefine what we thought possible for small cold worlds. And in the process, it would transform our understanding of the solar system's farthest frontier. Enter New Horizons, NASA's bold mission to fly by Pluto. Launched in 2006, it was the fastest spacecraft ever, racing to a world we'd only glimpsed. For nearly a decade, it crossed the vast, silent gulf of the outer solar system. In July 2015, New Horizons arrived, capturing breathtaking images and data. Pluto was revealed as a complex, dynamic world, towering ice mountains, vast nitrogen plains, and a surprisingly young surface. The flyby was a triumph, but just a snapshot in time. To see Pluto's story unfold, we needed a new tool, the James Webb Space Telescope. Webb's giant mirror, tuned to infrared, can monitor Pluto's seasons and atmosphere from afar. New Horizons gave us the close-up. Webb provides the long-term view. Together, they transform Pluto from a static picture into a living, evolving world. Webb tracks subtle changes, how Pluto's atmosphere thickens and thins, how its surface shifts with the seasons. This partnership is revolutionizing our understanding of distant icy worlds. Pluto is no longer a mystery, it's a world with weather, geology, and a story to tell. The combination of daring flyby and patient observation is rewriting the book on planetary exploration. And it's only the beginning. New Horizons and Webb revealed Pluto's atmosphere as a marvel of complexity. Instead of a simple haze, we found layers of bluish mist, chemically rich and ever-changing. Sunlight breaks down methane, creating hydrocarbon particles that drift down, forming a global haze. These particles absorb sunlight, warming the upper atmosphere but radiate heat away, cooling Pluto far more than expected. It's a planetary air conditioner. Pluto's atmosphere is colder than models predicted, regulated from the top down. Unlike Earth's greenhouse effect, Pluto's haze cools rather than warms. Webb's infrared eyes confirmed this unique climate system. Even a tiny, distant world can have a self-regulating, interconnected climate. The haze not only cools the air but also settles onto the surface, painting Pluto with reddish hues. Atmosphere, climate and geology are linked in a delicate dance, orchestrated by the faint sunlight at the edge of the solar system. Pluto's atmosphere is a reminder, nature's creativity knows no bounds. Pluto and Karen are locked in a cosmic waltz, two worlds orbiting a shared center of gravity. Karen, half Pluto's size, is more partner than Moon. Together they form a true binary system. Their tidal lock means each always shows the same face to the other, a dance of perfect synchronicity. But their connection goes deeper. Pluto's thin atmosphere escapes into space and Karen sweeps through this escaping gas. Over eons, Karen's pole has been stained by Pluto's breath. Methane freezes, then sunlight transforms it into dark reddish tholins. Webb has detected these chemical fingerprints, confirming this interplanetary exchange. Karen is literally painted by Pluto's atmosphere, a stunning example of worlds shaping each other. This discovery changes how we see planetary systems. Planets and moons are not isolated, but deeply interconnected. The Pluto-Karen system is a living laboratory for interplanetary weather. Even in the emptiness of space, worlds can touch and transform one another. At Pluto's heart lies Sputnik Planitia, a vast, icy basin shaped like a heart. It's a dynamic glacier of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide constantly churning and resurfacing. The polygonal patterns are convection cells, ice rising and sinking like a frozen lava lamp. Sputnik Planitia is Pluto's climate engine. As sunlight shifts, nitrogen sublimates or freezes, thickening or thinning the atmosphere. This basin controls Pluto's atmospheric pressure, 
exhaling in summer, inhaling in winter, its immense mass even reoriented Pluto over time, dragging the planet's crust to its current position. Webb now tracks these seasonal changes, watching the glacier's subtle shifts from afar. Sputnik Planitia explains Pluto's young surface, dynamic atmosphere, and even its rotation. It's not just a feature, it's the key to Pluto's identity. Through Sputnik Planitia, we unlock the secrets of an entire world. Pluto's story echoes across the solar system and beyond. Titan, Saturn's moon, shares a nitrogen-rich atmosphere and organic haze, another laboratory for complex chemistry. Triton, Neptune's moon, is likely a captured cousin from the Kuiper belt, with nitrogen geysers and a young, active surface. Studying Pluto helps us reinterpret data from these worlds, revealing shared processes and unique twists. Some scientists even see echoes of early Earth in Pluto's haze, organic chemistry that may have seeded life. Pluto connects the gas giant's moons to the Kuiper belt, expanding our understanding of planetary evolution. Each discovery is a piece of a cosmic puzzle showing that geology, chemistry and climate are universal, but endlessly diverse. Pluto is no longer an outlier, it's a crucial link in our solar system's family tree. Even the smallest, coldest worlds have stories to tell. Exploration reveals the unexpected, and Pluto is just the beginning. Pluto has shattered our assumptions about small, cold worlds. It's alive with mountains, glaciers, a blue sky, and a beating heart of ice. The Kuiper Belt, once thought barren, may be filled with other Plutos, each with its own wonders. Pluto is a prototype, not an exception, a new class of world, perhaps common across the galaxy. The James Webb Space Telescope is our window into this distant realm, tracking Pluto's seasons and scouting its neighbors. Our exploration has taught us, never underestimate a world. Pluto's story is one of curiosity, perseverance, and the power of science to reveal the cosmos's beauty. For Pluto and for us, this is just the beginning.